The Massachusetts Bank, Anthony Jones, is now also a member of the APC. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. We well, haven't listened to uh, uh, Mr. Timmy Frank. Uh, there are many who will be concerned, particularly within your party, even those who voted, just wondering what is going on with the party. Well, the party is solid. I can tell you that. I, from where I sit, from, where, from, where, from what I can see, Mr. Timmy Frank has spoken his mind, he's spoken well. And don't forget, he has an insight to what goes on up there. He's a national officer of the party, right? And he has spoken on the issues that he could speak on. And to an extent, I will not fault him. All he has said, he has expressed his concern about things that are wrong at the top there. But from where I sit, that is, I'm a member of Lagos State APC, by default, member of APC National. Lagos State APC, we are solid. Things are working Lagos is on the cruise. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, maybe they need to look at what we do here to reflect up there. That is it. The chairman of the party in Lagos. What do you do here? You could see the chairman of the party in Lagos and the governor of Lagos State, right? They work together. The party works with the governor. The party hierarchy is clear. Understand, we have the party chairman. I mean, the structures are solid. The political structures are well maintained and balanced. There's no, there's no rift. I mean, and it is what has sustained this party over the years to be focused and to be in government. So what's the relationship between the party here in Lagos and the national, specifically the national chairman? I mean, the, the, I mean you see, the point is that there are, there are, there are stages in the political structures. The party chairman here, we have the National South West chairman of the party, we, we, we have the Nigerian South chairman of the party, then we have the Nigerian chairman of the party. That is the way it works. So when Timmy was talking about the Ondo crisis, I mean, the party chairman in Ondo state should report to the South West chairman of the party then the South Chairman of the party, before the Nigerian Chairman of the party. But somewhere along the line, those two disappeared, and the Chairman of the party uh, took the decision himself. So it's another, that is, the, that is their own uh, way of looking at things, but the, the, those stages, those steps were not well uh, is, is, it, is it deliberate not to have your BOT in place? Well, I, uh, I will not say this is, it is deliberate, you understand me, but the point is that that is politics for you. We have BOT members, as we speak now, but we have a BOT chairman. Yes, we have a BOT, we have BOT members, but we, we, we don't have BOT chairman at the moment. Hmm. The body has a BOT chairman. Uh, why BOT is there no, no talk about having a BOT chairman or even having a convention in the party? Well, that is, well, I said the party is solid, right? And I will tell you something, right? The party chairman needs to buckle up and bring people on board and do what they, are, they have to do. But the crisis in some states, the crisis in some elections in the state, the pockets of crisis here and there does not really tell you the party is not solid. But isn't that how it happened to the PDP? Uh, different states were having issues that before you knew what was happening, it had crumbled on their hands. PDP lost an election. <laughs> that is, they lost an it election. It started with internal wranglings, well, disagreement within states. They said the national didn't listen to them, and now we're saying the same kind of thing. Well, right I now. mean, right now the issue at and now is an issue within the national officers of the party, and the national leader position is very clear on some issues. Who's the national leader? The national leader is actually you have met uh, Bola Tinumbu. Is very clear on some issues. Is he the leader of the party? You know, I mean, if I, I didn't give him that title, I mean, he, that title he assumed even before the president came into power. I mean, and he, he really speaks. And when he does, we has on some issues bothering him, you understand me? And he should give concerns to members of the party, give concerns to the government, because the party is the government in place. Is the party listening to him? 
I think, I think, I think, of course, the parties listen to him. They have to listen to him. Because when you, don't they, forget. They, they have to. In other words, it's comfortable to say someone or the party is not listening. You see, he made the comment regarding a particular uh, 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 incident. That was the United States primaries. Don't forget that he was the first person among the party leaders to congratulate uh, Barrister Akere Dolu. When he won, he was the first person before the issue of manipulation rigging started. So, and he didn't make the statement out of uh, nothing. He, I mean, he, he made the statement out of the things that people brought up to him, and he could verify those things that are a bit reasonable that I, I can speak on it, and he did. Is it, is, it, is it right to say that all is not well with the party? Because if you put the letter written by Bola Ahmed Chinubu uh, on the table and you put that with comment from some youth leaders also of the APC uh, on the table and you spice it with the interview of the first lady also on the table, uh, doesn't that tell you that all uh, is not well with the party? You see, I tell you something, right? You have the party, you have the government and you have opinions. Right, and this is a this is a democracy. There will always be a differing voice, whatever you do, in the house, outside. But you you are better off having them in your tent than pissing from outside the tent. You understand? This first lady has spoken. Right, the person. I mean, we could you could tell that in Lagos, our women are not in the kitchen or in the other room. We know where they are. You understand me? And the president has confirmed that you know something. She's there to take care of me and my kitchen. The president said that live and direct. I saw it this morning, and I was shocked when I saw that this morning. Anyway, and that is the president's opinion on, on the wife she married. But the woman has said clearly now, I'm not only in the kitchen. I can be elsewhere as well. Do you understand? So that is not to say... I'm not, I'm not looking at the kitchen uh, okay. talk. No, okay. I'm looking at what she dropped, talking about appointments, talking yeah. about uh, how people emerge. Yeah. And you, it would seem as if that's almost the same thing uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been talking, talking about the emergence of some people and the handling of the party, uh, Ondo as an example, and a couple of others. And if you put that with the dissenting voices you get from some youth of the APC, yeah. Doesn't that worry you? Well, as a member? you see, you see, let us be very clear. Bola Ahmed Tinubu did not, he has not been, made any statement regarding the choice of the president, minister, directors, DGs, whatsoever. And that is the president's prerogative. They've taken to the Senate, they've been declared by the Senate. He has not said anything about that, to be sincere. What he has spoken about is the election, a process. <laughs> understand me, a process in Undo State. And he fostered the process, which a process which he gave, you know, at the moment, it was like people could even think it was one of the contestants in Undo State, the way they were going about him. And, and thank God at that point in time, even the Nigerian German said, anybody has a free will to support whoever they choose to support. And that's the least he could do. Or the most he could do, rather, because he could, he, 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 he could not even vote in those states anyway. If I'm supporting Sulai, it does not mean I'm coming there to come and vote for Sulai, but I'm supporting him with my clout, and maybe people will take the heat from that. And, and that is all he did. And after that, I mean, if you believe he's the leader of the party, and from mm -hmm. this part of the country, okay. we see him as leader across the board. All so right. his views about the primaries, uh, after I was, was very clear. But what is it that you want them to do? Perhaps borrow leave, or what is it that Lagos is doing here I mean, that can be copied? The party can do a lot, right, by looking at what we do here to the national level. And, the, and you can see the low agri fruits all over the place in Lagos now, in the terms of the look and feel effects of the state government. I mean, my traveling time to this place now is almost reduced by over and half. I mean, those are the benefits that you could look at, the low angle fruits you work, the center you should look at, and how Nigerians can start feeling the effect of it. Okay.
of the change. Pardon me to jump in, even though, yes, the effect is what Nigerians want to feel. But let yeah. me bring Mark Bay in on this one. Hello. Mark Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, good Mr. morning. Senator Buck Anthony. But quickly, uh, yeah. they say that the only reason perhaps Lagos has been able to do that is because they all belong to the same political family. And that, you know, there are certain families that have, or a certain part of that family that has not been shifted, it would seem, to the national level and doesn't seem to have anything to do with the family in Lagos. How true is that allegation? Well, Lagos is one family. APC in Lagos is one solid family. If you go to Abuja, you go to Kaduna, Lagos is home. The family remains in Lagos. You are free to go and explore. Ilela Bosimioko. What's that? That is back home, west, northern, south. Because there are people who say, for instance, now that the current governor of the state and and his uh, immediate predecessor don't see eye to eye. How true is that? That's not true at all. You could see so far in the last one and a half years, this present governor has consolidated, has continued to continue what he met. Light up Lagos, the roads, the pedestrian bridge, I mean new initiative okay. complementing the old one BRF was doing. So there's nothing like that at all. It, all right. On that good note, uh, we'll anchor today on Sunrise. We thank you for coming on. Mr. Tunde Bank Anthony is a member of the APC. He belongs to the APC, the Lagos family, as he's told us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We thank you all for watching. I'm Chamberlain or so. Many thanks. I'm Slyman. Our lady. And thank you, Maokwe Ogun.